Right. It's all into it. So being in this, you know, on this platform, watching Wayne, watching Ro, watching Mike, Philip has really pushed me because his his comedy is is crazy with it. So right, I have right. to be able to like respond to him quickly. Okay. That's um and then Philip like he he's super witty and smart. He so is smart. like he 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 come with him so fast. So it's like I know that wasn't no easy job, oh, you know, no. keeping up with him. That with Philip. <laughs> come on you guys, let me tell you. Acting in class and learning the technique is one thing, but improv is a whole nother kind mm. of situation, right? Because, again, you don't know what they're going to say. Right, right. A script, you already know who line is next. So being on a, 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 um, part, a, a network with such an awesome comedian such as Philip, yeah. you're... I wrote in that we need, none of this is being written down. All these Crush White episodes that y'all watch, that y'all be real invested in, which we love and I appreciate y'all. I just really want y'all to understand our craft. Like, this isn't your traditional style of acting. There is no script. This is literally off your brain. Mm. You know what I mean? So, like, your scene partner definitely, it, you know what I'm saying? Your scene partner means a lot because if your scene partner can't give you that conversation back, mm. you're really going to be talking in circles. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> your boy is going to be dead. So, like, that, that's definitely, you got to find you a good scene partner. And nine out of ten, you find you a good scene partner. That's probably who you're gonna be doing a lot of scenes with. You know what I'm saying? So, I like feel that. like you and Wiley, boy, y'all got that. Y'all probably got the best chemistry when it comes to you know scene best partners. Boy in the game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, D, and that you and Wiley, and you and the Honey Pot. It's some, it's some, it's some, um, it's some dope uh, chemistry on that. I'm not gonna lie. I like Glenda and Philip. That's a real good, I like their energy. I like how they play off each other. Money Bad Mafia, he new to the, uh, well, he ain't new, but, you know, he back online, so right. his energy is real good. You know, working consistently, you know, I stepped off of, um, you know, we were, we ended our show of Saints and Sinners, you know, people may know me for, as Angela from that show, but to go from that show immediately to another show, which is the family business, mm. um, leave from that show immediately to another one. So it was like I had a day, maybe two off, and then I was right back on set. Mm. And that was like for the, the first seven months of 2022. So that was amazing, you know. Yikes. Yeah, so I was like nonstop, work, 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 work. And, Dang. Yeah. And how long Saints and Sinners? How many seasons did it have? Like five? We went six seasons. Six. Yeah, six seasons. That's a blessing. Yeah, especially, especially like now. Yeah, exactly. You know, there was so many um, dope, talented vets on that show from Vanessa Bell Calloway, Christian mm. Keys, you know, uh, Clifton Powell, you know, my brother Trey Chaney. It was, you know, so many other dope, talented people there. Mm. Shout out my dog, Trey Chaney, man. Trey? Yeah. Really? Yeah, my dog. I see a fake time right now. Yeah. Karen. <laughs> 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 nah. Probably hitting me, sis. I'm trying to get out of there. I'm trying to see what kind of shoes these is, though. Oh, these are the things. Not these old things. These old things. My boy, my boy, keep it on now. Hey, man. My boy, these keep it These old things. Nah, I feel you. You said, uh, cause we were trying to, I was like, dang, I want to know how some dudes can write big records for other people, but when they try to be their own artist, they can't do it. Dude. Yeah, man. It's just like, people are going to feed off, like, the general public, public, not public. <laughs> True. The general public. They they like a certain type of uh person personality and stuff like that. Some people can't, some people can't just be accepted by everybody. You mm. know what I mean? Because they can't help being them true selves. Like their true selves always come out, and it's not always likable or always cool or the end thing to do. You feel me? So people don't gravitate to them. Some people know how to mask it well. Mm. You know what I mean? The industry is crazy, and to make it in the industry, you got to be a type, one type of, two types of people, the, the people that influence the industry. Or the industry influences them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, and I mean by that, it's a lot of, you know, like, kind of shaky stuff that the industry do. Right. To make people go through the, uh, how they do female rappers and, you know what I'm saying? You know, rappers from the inner city. Episode 7 of season 1 is one of my favorite episodes. He's a character. Like, he's funny. Yeah. But also, like, he was giving game just out of the freedom of his heart. Right? Mm. Advice here. Oh, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. Yeah, blah, like just random. You can tell he's someone who is, 
knowledgeable. I think uh, when you speak to him, you kind of realize, like, oh, he's successful for a reason. Hey, it's your favorite cousin at the cookout, Rico Ramil. Check out my brand new book, Get Rich and Praise God, man, on Amazon.com right now. Everything you need to learn how to secure that bag like a boss is right here in this book, man. I went from sleeping in the 1984 Buell Sable to living full time off the gifts I was born with. And I want to show you how to do the same thing, man. Get rich and praise God on Amazon.com. Hey!